Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make your first button app. So here we're going to go on to Thunkable project page, click create new app, and I'm going to call this button app. Right. So here we have our screen. You can hide this, we don't need that. And I'm just going to drag and drop a button on the screen. So now here with our button, we can do many things with it. First, I want to change it to say, like, hi, I'm a button. I'm going to change the text color to maybe black. I also change the background of the button. I'm going to make this green. Change the font size to, like, 30, how about 10 to 20 is fine. There's many things you can do with the button. You can add a background picture. You can change the height, the width. Here you can do it by height. So you either do by fit contents or fill container. If I do fill container, it's going to fill the whole container of your screen. Let's go back. If I do it the width, it's going to stretch all the way to side to side. There's other things you can do, like relative size, so this will be 50%, so it's only 50% of the screen. And the width, you can also do, we don't do this, 50%. Yeah, I think it's a little bigger this time, though, 70%. Great. You can also add a border. I'm going to make the width of this 4. And make sure you select the style of your border. We have solid, dotted, and dash. I'm just going to go for dotted. You can also make the button a little bit round by adding a corner radius. Let's click 5 for now. You can also make it quite big. Like 10 or even maybe like 50 to make it a little bit rounder. Great, so now we've designed our button. So now what we're going to do to add some code onto it, we're going to go onto this little tab here where it says blocks. Click blocks. And now I can control my button. Here in button, we'll add this code block. So when button one is clicked, what's it going to do? And we're just going to click button again, and you can say, oh, maybe I'll change the background color of the button to be blue now. And then I'm also going to add so that the text changes. And you'll say Skyrock box. Yeah. So when you're ready, click live test and you can view your app on your iPad. There you go.